I'm going to show you how to add, delete, or edit, or if you want, completely uh, take away the ability for in links to uh, uh, put internal links onto your website. The first thing to know is that um, in links will try and create logical internal links within the page paragraph content of your text um, and uh, try and optimize your website uh, based around uh, topics and entities. Um, if you don't add the JavaScript code to your website, then this won't happen at all. In links will not add any links and will not inject any schema to your web pages. So until you have added your code, you can set up your website as much as you like on the in links system without any changes to your content in real life. Once you have added the code, then um, you will get links being created. And you can see that on the dashboard. If uh, for this small setup for, for the New York Times was implemented, there will be uh, a couple of links going into this page um, on Texas Senate elections. Uh, there will be a link coming out or two links coming out of this uh, uh, Beto O'Rourke page. Um, and uh, so you can see the links there. Uh, you can actually see all the links in one place though, and you can start editing them and deleting them um, at will over here. Uh, so if you click on the links tab, again, this is a place where you will always see the uh, the code that you need to put onto your website, even if it is on your website already. Uh, and, but underneath you have a list of all the links that are created. Uh, and so you have the anchor text, um, the page that it's coming from, and the page it's coming to. Uh, and if you don't like a link, it's very, very easy to change it. So for example, um, on this page, uh, US election Senate results 2018, um, and you don't want the, uh, the press link, you just go to the right hand side, press this button here, and it says removed. You do then want to confirm this change, implement your changes, um, and make sure that you uh, create that so that it disappears from the site and comes back again. Uh, now the link has disappeared, everything's up to date, and uh, it's now not on your site. It may also be that you want to add links into your site, and you can do that as well. So let's say we want to um, uh, link to a, a page on your site. So let's say we've got this old-fashioned beer recipe. Uh, if you ever want to go to one of these links, you can click on this, and it will open the, uh, the links. You can have a look um, at the page. I'm going to copy the URL here and uh, go back to my in-links implementation. So what I'm going to do is, uh, on this page, um, uh, shallot. Uh, recipes uh, I'm going to edit links and I'm going to add a link here um, by simply um, scrolling over um, a keyword or set of keywords and now I can paste any URL that is on the New York Times website at the moment we're only allowing you to put in internal URLs it will check to make sure that the page exists and it will save the link and now on the page, we've got the anchor text source with word manual link. If I refresh this page now, you'll see that the, uh, that the manual link is here. And if I uh, click on this and look for source, You can see the dotted line underneath um, the word source uh, shows that it's a, a an in links link on the system. Again, you can delete this if you want, just with this button here. Now, one last thing that I would say is that I said that until the JavaScript code is on your website, then um, you won't have any links or schema on your website at all. But it is possible to modify this code for advanced users so that either the schema or the internal links don't appear at all within your site. So if I copy the actual URL that is being um, uh, put onto your site, instead of calling this actual, this actual JavaScript code from our site, it is possible to have a look at this code. Let me put it in here. Uh, and for this site, this is the code that goes onto it. Now, if you're a, a programmer or a developer, what you can do is you can actually put this raw code on your own website uh, and call it from your own website and modify it so that it gets rid of either the schema elements or the internal links elements. So if I go to um, uh, this blue here, 
um, everything after open uh, brackets t equals 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 and all the way through to else if you delete that it will take away the schema section of the inlinks injection and if you take this section here else if t equals 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 uh, all the way through to uh, a closed brackets and then a uh, closed square bracket is that a closed brackets and a closed uh, curly brackets if you take that out of the uh, script then that will remove any internal linking of course if you do that the website at inlinks.net will suggest that the uh, links are working so this is a, uh, a very advanced uh, feature um, but it does allow you to completely remove any internal links if you wanted to do so I hope that's helpful I hope that uh, you can see that you can manipulate and uh, play with the internal link structure very very easily with inlinks what I would say is that uh, by default inlinks is creating quite a clever internal link network uh, and if used effectively it can generally improve your website uh, rankings organically and your traffic.